What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how Kendrick Lamar's Swimming Pools was made on FL Studio. This beat was produced by T- and for my Patreon supporters, I will be making the FLP and the stems available to you guys. And since we're in November, also known as Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, all the Patreon proceeds will be going towards supporting men's mental health at Movember.com. So if you want to get access to this FLP, as well as all my other remakes and my drum kit and my MIDI chord pack, feel free to do so at Patreon.com. Here we have what I've found to be the most difficult remake so far in my career. So uh, strap in and let's get started. Let's start off with the intro. The first thing we have is this spacey chord progression. This was made using three different presets, the most important one being the Chaotic Vibes preset on Omnisphere, and that sounds like this without any effects. Then we also have the Holy of Holies pad. I want you to enter the Holy of Holies. Oh, that is quite a coincidence. Cause as well as the Morphing Female RS preset on Omnisphere. As for effects, unsurprisingly, we're using a lot of effects just because it is such a spacey sound. The most important effects we're using is first off RC20 Retro Color, and we're taking the wobble up higher than I've ever seen it taken before. Then we're using Effectrix, which is a plugin that you see T- using a lot in his deconstructions on Genius. Then we're using some spacey effects like Phaser, flanges, chorus, all working together to make it a really spicy sound. I'm sure T- used a different effect chain in the original song, but I'm pretty confident that we have the identical preset here. Then we have the sub. And that is another preset on Omnisphere in the Trillion expansion called the Growing Taurus Subs. And you can see the notes overlapping to make the transition between notes a bit smoother. And for effects on the sub, we're adding some reverb, which is only active during the verses. So you can see we've automated the reverb so that it cuts out during the choruses. Bro, I'm so proud of this remake. We've done such a good job. Bruh. So everything playing together so far. Then after eight bars, we're introducing a snare. And this was made using two different snares. The first one is the plug basic snare, as well as this really popular snare that you see all the time in trap music and in the song. For effects on this snare, we have two instances of reverb. The first one has a delay of zero, so this is before and after. Then you can duplicate the preset and turn on tempo and take the delay up to two, which is gonna sound like this. So you can now hear a second wave of reverb. If I make it more apparent, it's gonna sound like this. So all together. Then we're adding in the kick, which plays this loop. This is, as far as I can tell, the identical kick, or at least it sounds very similar to it. So all together. Then we're coming into, I guess, the pre-chorus. Here we're adding in what is, as far as I can tell, the identical hi-hat, which sounds like this. And it plays a basic two-step loop. So, sounds like this. Then we have what is, as far as I can tell, the identical plucking sound. And it plays these two notes. Pretty simple, so it plays in the track like this. Then we're using the same preset that was used in X's Moonlight. It's the Gamelin Wheel. But we're turning down the B oscillator, then we're going to the ARP settings and making this ARP. Then for the piano roll, we're playing these two chords, and this is what it sounds like without any effects. 
Then for important effects, we're adding Effectrix, then some flanges, then some chorus, then a little bit of delay. So it's gonna sound like this. So all together. Then introducing the chorus, we have the identical riser, which sounds like this, which will be available in the FLP. And then we have the chorus. So we have everything playing before, and then we're introducing the chorus lead, which is the identical preset. And you can find this preset inside of Zeta 2. It's the Crispy Arp C1. And we have two versions. This first one has a little bit less reverb. And this is the second one. So in the song. Then we have another identical preset, or at least it sounds exactly the same. So that's good enough for me. It's another preset from Omnisphere. It's the Cathedral String Orchestra. So in the song. Also playing in the chorus, we have this open hi-hat. So all together. Then jumping straight to the end, we have the last pattern to go through. And that's the Cathedral String Orchestra once again, and it just finishes with white noise. That's basically everything I want to go through today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music playing in the background, you can check their channel in the link in the description. And if you want to get your own music playing on this channel, hit me up on Instagram at Aiden Kenway, and I will use your music in these videos. Discord link in the description. Yeah, so that's basically everything. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.